Hi, this is Diana. I'm back and we're going to be working with the Pagoda cartridge today. And I love this cartridge. It has some of the most interesting designs. And uh, this, this card is very nice to make. It's a six by seven, six inches by seven, which doesn't usually fit in too many cards. And I, I have made that but I'm not going to make this one today. But I, I just love all the different designs in here. There's um, the bird, the fish, a few different fish, a dragonfly, and it comes with the kanji letters, the kanji tag, and the kanji word, the tag, the card, and the shadow. So there's a lot of options with this cartridge. And I've, I've just found this to be so um, delicate and beautiful. A little time consuming when you're doing the, the flowers, but they're so, so much worth it because they're just beautiful. So uh, the card that we're going to make today is the one on page... Oh, I've made this one before. You've probably seen that on my blog. And um, let's see... I'm going to just go through the whole book for you so you can see this. And I just think this is a must-have car cartridge. It's one of the best. Just every single page has a beautiful design. And th these are the two that we're going to be working with today. The very last two in the book on page 72 and 73. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the the kimono in on this page and this page in black. I'm going to do this one in uh, kind of a bluish color and this one in kind of a pink cherry blossom kind of pattern. And I've already uh, put everything on my mat and the papers that I chose were AC cardstock in black and then this pretty cherry blossom paper. And what I did, it's a 12 by 12. I cut six inches by six inches and I cut the piece that I thought would be the most um, usable for the flowers for the image that I was going to do and then I also did the same with the the blue green color and I just think this is very pretty too I just think the two of them on top of the black will go really nicely and so the card that I'm going to make is going to be a 5 by 7 which is a half an inch cut off the eight an inch and a half cut off the eight and a half inch side and then one inch cut off of the 11 so I used an 11 eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and cut it down to 10 by 7 and then fold it in half so I'll I'll fold this in a minute but before I do that I'm going to set up my machine and what I've gone and done is set it for my gypsy and I have set this for okay no 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 open ah, yes save and where am I okay there we are so I'm going to be cutting the two shadows in the black and then this one in the blue, this in the pink. So I've already got my my mat set with the black on the top part, the blue here and here. And to load the with the gypsy, I don't know if many of you have the gypsy. If you don't have the gypsy, just go ahead and load the paper as you normally would. But with the gypsy, you would hit the cut button and press the load mat and then I just I usually hold it hold the mat a little till it would help if I turn my machine on <laughs> okay it says not connected to Cricut so it's taking a while to okay so we go okay okay now it's connected now I'm gonna try that again so you're learning, you're learning this with me. It's so funny. I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, load mat, and then, like I say, I'm gonna just—I'm not pushing it. I'm just holding it so it comes back. So, 
So what I've done, if you look at this, I've loaded it like this. So my black mat is here, and then I have the blue there and the pink over here. So now when I hit the cut button, it will cut, and I've set my times that it cuts each piece on the lot, same line to three. If you want that higher, you would go, you would hit this button, it would give you a four cuts. If you go this, it would give you two, but I want it cut three because this is um, a textured cardstock and it's fairly thick. So I'm going to just go ahead and press cut, and this will take a while. 